to Eternal Easy Education. In this session, you are going to learn Chapter 16, Electronic Payment System. Content of this video is what is electronic payment system and what are the classifications of electronic payment system. This is our chapter electronic payment system. Everyday people buy or sell goods and service for money. Money becomes the major medium of exchange. Later, some payment systems were, were in, developed out of need to facilitate the growth of commerce and economic development. So, because of this electronic payment, we can say that e-commerce has grown. The media used for transferring the value of money is very diversified, ranging from the use of simple payment instruments, that is cash, to the use of complex system that is cryptocurrency. Physical money is cash. The traditional most widely used payment instrument that consumer use in their daily lives is to buy goods and service. So as we know, we have to sell or buy goods every day. Okay. Then the money is the major medium of exchange. Okay. So what is electronic payment system? An electronic payment system is a financial arrangement that consists of an intermediator to facilitate transfer of money substitute between a payer and the receiver. Sometimes it is also called liquidation, clearing system or clearing service. So other names are liquidation, clearing system or clearing service to ensure the transfer of value from one subject of the economy to the another and plays an important role in modern monetary system so for the transfer of value from one subject of the economy to the another money plays the important role so the electronic payment system is the financial arrangement which is going to have an intermediator for the money transfer. Modern payment system may be physical or electronic and each has its own procedures and protocols. Yes, it has its own protocols and procedures. The term electronic payment refers to the payment from one bank account to another bank account using electronic methods for going the direct intervention of bank employees okay this is the important concept transfer of money from one bank account to another bank account without the involvement of employees in the sense we are not going to transfer the bank uh, transfer the money in the bank directly we are going to use the intermediate for that the payment system is an essential part of company's financial operation, but it becomes complex when many different payment systems are used. Yes, if someone is want to uh, give the amount in cash, someone will pay it as check and someone will pay it as DD. So there are many methods to pay the money. Further challenges come from continuous introduction of new payment systems such as Paytm, UPI, Bitcoin and various mobile payment options. So nowadays we are hearing many things. Even they are asking to scan the QR code, Paytm, ePay, eMobile, phone, phone pay. So there are many things to pay the money. As a result, there are more than 750 payment systems throughout the world. See this payment system. So, one is purchase cash in and cash out, another is consumers, another mobile, another one is e-commerce and funding source and a bank and merchant system administered. So, these are all involved in the payment system. So, many electronic payment methods have been developed with the advancements in the internet technology. So, this is the main reason. Because of the internet technology, e-commerce has developed. Because of the development in the e-commerce, the transfer of money through electronic payment system is 
very important and it is very easy based on the value of money transactions processing time processing requirements security issues and usability that means money transaction value that means it whether it is a thousand rupee payment or a one lakh rupee payment and the processing time and the processing requirements what are the requirements sometimes it need a internet banking sometimes it need a credit card or a debit card so security issues while we are giving the details to your intermediate and the usability electronic payment systems are generally classified so based on this they are classified into two so what are the two classifications means one is micro electronic another one is macro electronic so what is micro it is an online payment system designed to allow efficient and frequently payments of small amounts so micro in the sense small so online payment of small amounts in order to keep transaction cost very low as the amount of transfer is low the transaction cost also very low the communication and computational cost are minimized here unlike macro electronic payments which use expensive public key cryptography micro electronic payments are relaxed by using lightweight cryptographic primitives that means as we know cryptography means the conversion of the data so here the conversion of data is lightweight because the amount is very small and the cost also very small as the security of micro electronic payment system is comparatively low and it can be tampered that means the security is low okay as the cryptography is lightweight the cost of fraud is much higher than possible values to be gained by fraud itself so as the security is low it may be uh, that means it may be exposed to many fraud things so the security in micro electronic payment method is considered to be adequate the ma- majority of micro electronic payment systems are designed to pay for sing- simple goods on internet subscriptions of online games uh, read journals listen to a song or watch a movie online so very small amount of transaction is done using micro payment system micro electronic payment system the three important points are small amount and the cost is uh, transaction cost also very small and the two drawbacks are it is having only uh, lightweight uh, cryptography so the security is very low when compared with macro and the examples of subscription of online games or read journals or a subscription of a movie sometimes paying uh, a rent to a movie like that in general parties involved so who are all involved in a micro online payment system customer service provider and payment processor the three persons are customer service provider and the payment processor So customer approves his authentication and the payment processor issues micro payment. Customer pays the micro payment to the online service provider and gets the requested goods and service from them. So first the customer has to prove his authentication and the customer pays the micro payment to the online service provider. So the service provider get the amount the service provider deposit micro payment received from the customer to the payment processor and gets the money so this is the three steps involved in micro pro electronic payment system what is macro macro electronic payment system supports payments of higher value as the name macro it is supports higher value the electro the security requirements are more rigorous in macro payment system because of huge money transaction so the security is high it must be high 
banks will impose a minimum transaction overhead on macro payment system these transactional overheads for usage of computational expensive cryptographic operation that means it if the electronic payment system is macro based and a little amount is invested by the bank to have the security of transaction so or macro online payment systems card based payment system electronic account transfer electronic cash payment system mobile payment system and internet payment system so these are the very important macro online payments so in the next video we will see in detail about all the four things here you have learned what is electronic payment system and what are the two classification one is micro and another one is macro that's all for this session thank you have a good day